Okay, if you click on the trinket, you'll if you click on the link in the document, you'll see a trinket like this one. I'm going to switch it to full screen to make it a little easier to see. And what you can see is the device here, and then this is a stationary coordinate system that doesn't move, and it has little marks indicating uh, positions along the coordinate system. The device consists of a, a non-conducting bar, a spring. Let's zoom in a little bit here, and uh, there's the test mass, the red mass there. This is a conducting uh, face that's close to the red mass, and the capacitance is uh, measured between these two plates. Okay? Then the idea is when you turn the thing on, it kicks in some acceleration. The thing accelerates to the right, and you'll see the test mass is displaced a little bit left of where it was when it started. Then the acceleration switches direction. The, the device slows down, stops and turns around, all the while the acceleration is constant and to the left. Then about halfway back, the acceleration switches, and you can see the displacement then switches the other way. And the thing finally comes to rest, stops, and then the displacement goes back to zero. So that's basically how it works. Now there are controls here that you can fiddle with. Let's see. <clears throat> um, first of all, the spring constant, the damping, the mass, and the times. Uh, along with the acceleration itself. This acceleration here starts out at 3 uh, meters per second squared, I guess, and uh, these are all in MKS units. So this is a macroscopic version of the accelerometer, and here are the times all in seconds. So it's 4 seconds to begin, and then 12 seconds, and 16 seconds, and so on. Now, one nice thing, if I type in here true, that means it's going to follow the device. So if I hit run, it creates the device, and then the simulation is actually going to follow along with the device. So when the, when the acceleration kicks in, let's hit run. The acceleration kicks in, and you're moving along with it now, and you can clearly see the displacement, and you can see how the displacement is graphed here. Then the acceleration switches, and you see the displacement going the other way. The thing slows down, stops, turns around, starts heading back, and then the acceleration is going to flip once more. You'll see the displacement also flips. There's a little bit of overshoot because it's a simple harmonic oscillator with damping. It eventually stops, and then the displacement goes back to zero. So the red line here is the theoretical steady state displacement uh, using the theory in the document that you've read. And the blue is the actual displacement of the test mass acting as a simple harmonic oscillator with a spring constant, a damping coefficient, and a mass. So that's basically the way it works.